द बॉडी गार्ड मेनी इयर्स अगो किंग वीरभद्रा रूल्ड ओवर शिवगिरी ही वॉज लुकिंग फॉर अ बॉडी गार्ड मेनी मैन स्किल्ड इन द मार्शल आर्ट्स अप्लाइड फॉर द जॉब द किंग वॉन्टेड अ रियली एबल एंड एफिशियंट पर्सन He called his minister and asked him to test them well so that the best person could be chosen. The minister took his job seriously and after putting the men through grueling tests he finally chose two young men called Gajasena and Ugrashakti. However, the king needed only one bodyguard and the minister could not choose between the two. He felt they were equally skilled and strong. So he took them to the king and told him Your Majesty both these men are equal in every respect I have tested their knowledge and their skills both are brave and strong and will make good bodyguards now you have to make up your mind and decide which one of them you would like to employ All right said the king send them to me and I shall decide which one should be made my bodyguard How about the others can they be employed somewhere are they any good They are also very brave and fit young men and we can certainly employ some of them in the army straight away the others will need training before they can be taken answered the minister good maybe you can take care of that while i test these two young men i shall be going to the gardens in the hills tomorrow send one of them with me as a bodyguard the next day before sunrise Ugrashakti and the king set off for the hill district on their horses. Ugrashakti was well armed and looked very fit. He had a sword at his waist, a bow and arrows on his shoulders, and a spear in one hand. He looked every inch a royal bodyguard. It was afternoon by the time they reached the beautiful hill resort. When the king was resting in the guest house after lunch, some villagers went to him and said, There is a tiger on the prowl in this area your majesty it attacks our goats and cows and other animals it has made life very difficult for us we are also worried that it may turn into a man eater any day we have to stay indoors with all our doors and windows shut in fact we have come to your campsite risking our lives please help us and get rid of the tiger for us The king called Ugrashakti and said, "Ugrashakti, go with these villagers and kill that tiger." "I shall at once do that, your majesty. I don't need any weapons to kill a mere tiger. I shall just take this spear and will be back immediately after getting rid of that troublesome tiger." He returned after some time and said, "I looked everywhere for the tiger but couldn't find it at all." Maybe it has gone back into the jungle. Veerabhadra just nodded his head. Soon afterwards they returned to the palace. A week later the king again set off for the same resort. This time he took Gajasena with him as his bodyguard. After they reached the guest house, once again the villagers came with the same complaint. Once again the king asked the bodyguard Gajasena to go with them and kill the tiger. But Gajasena did not move from his position. The king ordered him to go with the villagers in a louder and angrier voice. "Can't you hear me?" he shouted. "Why aren't you doing what I'm asking you to?" Gajasena replied respectfully, "Your Majesty, please forgive me. I'm only your bodyguard here. I cannot leave you alone." he explained. "Let the villagers go to the capital." and get help from there my first duty is to protect you so i cannot leave you unprotected you are insulting me in front of so many people by not obeying me do you know the punishment for anyone who refuses to obey my command thundered the king in a rage i'm sorry but i cannot obey this command of yours i cannot leave you alone i am your bodyguard was all that gajasena said in answer Veerabhadra did not say anything. He at once set off for the capital after reassuring the villagers that he would send help from the capital as soon as possible. That night the king sent for the minister for a private audience. 
he told him what had happened on his two trips to the hills then the king asked him to appoint gajasena as his bodyguard and find a suitable place for ugra shakti in the army the minister was surprised why do you want a man who had disobeyed you he asked the king smiled and said yes gajasena did disobey me he knew that he could be put to death as a punishment yet he was intent on doing his duty as a bodyguard and did not allow himself to be distracted the duty of a bodyguard is to make sure that the king is protected all the time he ensured that he did only that ugra shakti is brave but not as intelligent as gajasena that's how gajasena became king virabhadra's bodyguard